happy friends. Welcome to the Click Kit channel. Today I am working on a Art Studio Monday layout for you and this is going to be a double spread because I just felt inspired to do a, dou a double spread and I'm going to be using one of the sides to have my photo almost filling the whole side and this double spread is going to be eight and a half by 11 so it is going to be a little bit of a smaller scale so it's not going to be as intimidating as a full 12 by 12 um, double spread so that would be 24 by 12 or 12 by 24 however you want to say it um so one of the things that i was kind of irritated and this was just my own thing was that my printer wouldn't print out my photo um, a full 8 by 10 size which is what I really wanted. I really wanted to emphasize the fact that these trees are very tall but that's okay. So it still is an amazing picture and turned out uh, the printer really did a good job this time. Sometimes my printer doesn't always like to do a good job on full size photos but it did on this one and so I just left a little bit of the top and the bottom of that paper from the sorbet kit and that's the May kit that I'm using and this also is going to go along with the challenge for the month of May um, we were challenged to use gold and to try to use that sketch and I sort of use a loose interpretation off of this. I actually um, doodled this out at a doctor's appointment because I just kind of th got thinking about how I could work with that sketch and then do some of my own stuff. So I decided to, um, which you can't really see yet, but you'll see me doing this. I used my silhouette and I used the sketch pens to doodle in gold with the gold sketch pens, the the cut file that Miriam made for this challenge. And it's a really fun cut file. And I just kind of cut it down a little bit and I made it work so that it would fit on um, an eight and a half by 11 size layout. But I did end up having to go back over it with that gel pen. And it's a gold and green gel pen. So now I'm taking some shimmers pasties and I'm using salt to the earth or salt of the earth and then I'm mixing in with some of the colorings which I think it's keep palm it's one of the darker greens and I wanted it to be a darker green because or a, a green color because there's lots of green from the trees and I'm just gonna do some of the stencil on the other side too just to kind of mirror and have it feel like it's gonna flow a little bit even though they are like two different layouts in some ways and I like to do this when I do a double page I don't always mind that it just flows from one side to the other side and I did add some of that that charcoal -y color it's a lava flow I think is what it's called so it's a really dark gray and I really like the way that it looks with the gray and the green mixed together and so now I'm gonna take some more of these colorings and I'm just gonna roll them in my hands because that's how you use it to mix it up and I'm gonna spritz them on I don't do this application very often and because I am not using that much of it I did not put gesso on the background and then here's a coral color so I used a green a sapphire and this coral I kind of wish I didn't use a coral but I mean it ends up working out in the long run because it does match with the papers um this the sorbet kit has pink fresh studio the dream on collection and it's just really fun so I'm also using some of the printables from the kit from the travelers notebook kit and the main printables so I'll make sure I have links below to where you can find those and I'm just kind of figuring out what I want to do I knew I wanted to actually when I sketched this this part of it out I was wanting to do three sections but then when I um, ended up 
doing it, I decided that I didn't want to cut up, cut off and cover up that much of my photo, but I am going to take that label and I decided to put a little bit of it underneath the photo. So I'm going to have those two main clusters on here and it just kind of brings your eye to the page a little bit and it's just nice and fun. Though you can't really see what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I if I wanted to put something underneath that dreaming. It's dreaming with your head held high, I think is what it says, or something like that. Um, and it just was perfect. It was perfect because it fit right in the road, uh, right through those trees. And eventually you're going to see me add a puffy sticker to the to there too. Oh, with your eyes wide open is what it says. <laughs> Apparently, I can't read tonight. Apparently. So I am going to staple these down with my little tiny mini stapler. And it just adds some nice um, textures and stuff. And so I'm just taking some of the die cuts and trying to figure out where I want to layer them. I'm still playing with that pot. <laughs> printable and I don't end up using it at all because I just didn't think it worked. I am going to cut out some of these circles in that pattern in the printable with the leaves that match the die cut leaves. There's That is a super cute pattern. And so I'm just kind of building some stuff over here, figuring out how I want to layer it. I mean, I wanted to keep it simple because I want you to be able to see the photo. I don't really want to cover much of it up, but I did want a little bit of something. And I do add some of this on pop dots so that it's dimensional and it lifts off and you can just really see the shadows and everything. I will apologize right now for the lighting. It was very sunny when I was taping this and there's, it just, I didn't, it just, gets worse <laughs> as the night went on. As my afternoon went on, just the way the sun was coming in, sometimes there's not much you can do about it. But I think for the most part, the sun isn't right on what I'm working on. So hopefully you don't have too much of a problem. And then I add that exclusive flair to my page. I really like it. I kind of like how there's just these few little elements all together. And this layout took a little bit more than an hour to do the whole thing. It was probably closer to an hour and a half just by the time I got done waiting for everything to dry. And all these con these printables um, and cut aparts and everything from that are exclusive and are the digital files. They're just super fun to play with. So I knew that I wanted to add one section where I was going to put my, my journaling and have it be the main spot. So this side doesn't even have any photos. And at first I was thinking I was going to use these um, cards because they have embossed phrases on them and I thought it would look really cool with some more watercolor, but I end up not liking it because it's just a little bit too warped and it's a little bit too much watercolor with all the spritzes. I really wanted something that was going to ground it down and so you'll see what I end up doing with it, but I thought it would be fun to keep this in so that you could see just um, kind of where I'm going with it at this point and then when I decide that it's just not working for me. So I take some of the pieces that I had used on the other side to layer so that you get some of the same elements. Um, I'm not too matchy-matchy sometimes. I mean, it depends what I'm doing. But I also have some of these triangles, so I'm going to add those right to the triangles where the cut file, where I had used that. And it just looks kind of fun. It's just this aspect of, of it that this is fun. And a lot of them I put on pop dots. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to put that circle with the bird. I decided that I would use the bird because, I mean, this is a layout about nature. And that drive that I have to make very so often. 
And, and I thought about using that to border part of my layout because I was not really sure if I'm liking the fact that this is really, it's pretty warped because I sprayed quite a bit of media on it. And I was thinking that it might need something else to kind of like just really tighten it down and make it stand out. But I end up not doing that. I end up using some of this over top of the triangle because I just think the triangle is just a little bit too much. So now I am taking just some paper from my stash that is a wood grain and I added this because I really needed some, I really wanted something to ground it down and I knew that I could use part of it to um, use to journal on. Even though there is some journaling cards that are part of the kit that would have worked, I just didn't, I wasn't sure I wanted the rainbow one and stuff. So... So that's why I added that. And so here I, I was thinking, oh, I'll cut this down. Maybe I'll like it better this way. And I'll add it, add some um, dimensional and just kind of layer them. And I really like the way that this looks as far as the, the shadows that it creates and the dimension and stuff. It really works with the media. But it's not going to stay that way. So here I take that little scallop and I'm going to add that. It just, it adds an extra color on there. And so here I go adding these. Oh, I, so I do end up using that. I could have swore I didn't use that guys. Isn't that funny how I did use it and I forgot. I do like that mint color though. Those are really, really fun. Miriam, uh, designed those and she's, one of our design team members and she's amazing. So now I'm working on the title and if you remember the sketch, her title was under, or she said she had it underneath, but I decided to put it above because I put the, that whole journaling, uh, layered aspect just down a little bit so and because this isn't a 12 by 12 there isn't as much space anyway so I'm going to use these little doodle bug um alphas to spell out my is an in so it's going to say my head is in oh it should say in the clouds but it just says my head is in the clouds that's okay I forgot the, isn't that funny? See, this is why we do voiceovers and we look at our layout, but I am going to add these hearts that are on the board alphas. And then I ended up using that card and I had some of those mirror, um, add-ons. So I'll make sure I put the add-ons in below so that you can find out what add-ons are still left. So you can add them onto your kit. So you can get them in your kits. I know that they're going to be shipping out soon, so you'll be getting your kits, and I know you guys are going to love them. I can't wait to see what you guys make with the kits this month, the, this May kit. It's just really, really fun. It ended up being really versatile. At first, I wasn't sure. Like, there's lots of elements that I knew that were going to be fun, but I was kind of surprised at how many layouts that I just started thinking of that I could do. And they all just look way different from each other. So I'm adding these puppy stickers with the flat or not the flowers. They have the birds with the circles. And um, I'm adding them because I already have that other bird. So it just kind of adds something else that repeats. And that's really fun when you're doing, um, especially a double page layout that you have elements that do repeat. So it does kind of like, it doesn't have to be total matchy matchy, but it ends up tying things together. So here are the close-ups, and you can see how it looks. And it actually looks so much better than with the that bright light shining on it. And you can just see all these goodies. I really love how it turned out. It's super, super fun, and I had a lot of space to journal. And so I hope that you guys check out the challenge so that you can play along with us this month and you can use the sketch and use these digital files 
that are available. So I'll see you guys later and I hope you have a great week. Bye.